All right, friends, I have another. Maybe good, maybe bad, but we shall see. Oh, I think it's going to be an Ingersoll. Hopefully a good one. Oh, they're all good. Who am I kidding? I love these watches. And it's been a many fortnights. Whatever that means. Was that two days? I'm not sure. It's been several, several days since I've had a good Ingersoll. So we'll see. Oh, I think this is the double heart. It's been a long time since I've been looking for this one. Look at that. Unbelievable. All right, watch this video. All right, welcome back. And yes, this is the cord. It is a fantastic watch, but before I get into that, I'll do some quick review of the box. I know you guys have seen it before, but the Ingersolls all come in a solid wooden box. This is not fake. It's actually very impressive. Uh, it's one of the things I always liked about this. Although I don't know what you do with the boxes, right? Like I have a bunch of these, um, so it is what it is. But uh, all Ingersolls come with a lifetime warranty. Now that's um, from defects. So if you drop it and you break the crystal, uh, they're not gonna fix that. They're just not. But uh, if something happens, like this movement stops working, uh, they will uh, replace it. So it's actually quite nice. Um, and I'm a big fan of Ingersoll. You guys know that uh, probably a third, maybe not a third, but a quarter of my watch reviews are Ingersolls. I've pretty much bought every single Ingersoll <clears throat> since um, almost every single one of their models from 2014 and on. 
<laughs> and I'm still getting more. Now this is one I'm gonna completely unwrap because yes, I am keeping this. I love this watch. I've been looking for this price to drop. Now I've bought almost every watch, at least one of every watch. So I do not mind giving a free plug to this, uh, this uh, watch shop. They are in Miami, but I promise you it's not me. It's D exclusive fashion. And I buy almost all my watches from them, uh, all my Ingersolls, because they have fantastic deals. <clears throat> and I'm just a big fan. So I'm gonna start unwrapping this stuff because I'm such a, I'm, I'm gonna keep it. Can't. Got too many watches, but I'm gonna do it. Who's that other guy? Just one more watch. I can't help it. Wit. Uh, he, uh, he's got too many watches also. Um, <clears throat> what can I say? So what makes this watch interesting right off the bat, it's an automatic, but it has uh, dual heartbeats, open heartbeats. <clears throat> Excuse me. And that is just absolutely fascinating to me. Now, this is a seagull movement because apparently there is nobody in the U.S. that makes these in any way, shape, or form mass produced. Uh, but Seagull does make them, so this is a Chinese movement. Um, I will put some information about the movement up at the top here because I have to do my research after I do the video. But effectively, the difference is that this is, so it's a 45 drill movement, <clears throat> and while it is uh, a Chinese movement, it's not just your run-of-the-mill Chinese movement. So. What Ingersoll does is Ingersoll actually purchases the movements from Seagull and then they reassemble them in-house. So a few of these parts are actually parts that they have purchased themselves and then they make them and then they reassemble it and time it. So it is a much higher quality. And, and I really mean that because there are some, uh, I don't know if this is a turbian. I don't think it is because the thing's not moving on the inside. but. There are um, several watches that have this dual heartbeat movement, but it is not actually the same thing. It's, it's the same movement, but again, Ingersoll assembles these movements themselves. Um, very high quality. Now, something that I'm not sure about, and I'll try and do some research again, and, and, and I'll, I'll add some of these things too here, but... Um, oops, but... Um, the one on the left powers the date and the moon phase. The one on the right powers the three hand clock. So I thought that was interesting because this one was spinning and the time wasn't moving, but the one on the right had not moved because I hadn't fully wound it yet. And only when the one on the right started moving uh, did this one start going. So I thought that was interesting. Now, a couple things, of course, about, about this watch to set it. Um, it is a moon phase watch, but it also has the date and it does a sort of old school. Now, I don't know if you can really see it. I'll try my best to make it as visible as possible. But if you look in the upper right, I'm, I'm sorry, if you look closely, you can see, so it's not hugely useful, but the sub dial, which is at the 12 o'clock location, that is for the date. So right now it is looking at 12 o'clock. Uh, I'm sorry, it is looking at uh, 12 um, of, what is it, November? So I can change that. Now it's 13. Let's see. Now it's 13. 14, and it's just, I'm not getting it right. 14, yep, so, so that's how you change that. And now there's another one on the other side for changing the moon phase setting, and it will maintain as long as you keep it wound. So, which is kind of cool. Uh, and then to set it, of course, it's, you know, this is to wind. But it is an automatic, too. But you just set it the normal way. And it's just, a, it's a standard three hand. And what's fun about this watch, of course, is that it has dual open heartbeat. Uh, and that is quite cool. Now, I don't know if these are legitimately blued screws. And for those who don't know, bluing of the screws happens when you... Uh, superheat them to a very specific temperature and then cool them off very quickly 
and it produces this bluish temperature. So it could just be that these are anodized, maybe not legitimately blued screws, maybe just anodized, but either way. Uh, this is also a sapphire crystal. It is 100% sapphire. This is one of Ingersoll's fancy ones, and it is a sapphire crystal. Uh, some of the websites actually say that it's not, um, but it is in fact sapphire. Um, I don't know if the, if the back is, but um, this is uniquely larger of a back, a display back than most of the Ingersoll's. I'll put a picture of my bronze uh, Scoville up here so you can kind of see. Um, significantly larger back. Now, I don't know that you'd want to take the swimming, but it is 5 ATM, which is quite good, right? 50 meters, uh, 5 bar, 5 ATM. That is, it is quite good. Um, if you get thrown in the pool or you're on, you know, you're on your yacht, right? Because we all have a yacht, um, whether it's a sailboat or, or a power yacht, you know, with a, with a kitchen and a big bedroom, you know, we've all got one of those, right? But so let's say you're hanging out, you're drinking some champagne because you're not working, right? You're just hanging out on your yacht in the Azores or, uh, Caribbean somewhere, you happen to be hanging out and oh gosh, you know, a little too much champagne, you fell in the water, right? I mean, who has that not happened to, right? And then, um, you know, somebody helps you out and you're like, oh, you know what, my expensive Ingersoll, oh, it's okay because it's 5 ATM, so it's not damaged. So, so there you go. Uh, totally awesome. Um, now, it's also a deployment clasp. Now, again, I'm not a huge fan of the deployment clasp, but it is still, it is still decent. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep it because what it is, um, it's nice. I don't know if it's gold or real gold, but Ingersoll really does a fantastic job with these. And, and the leather straps, now this isn't the really thick ones. I've seen some really thick ones. This one's pretty decent, um, I, very high quality. And, and I, I really have to say, the Ingersoll watches, I am so impressed with the quality. Now I'm gonna tell you right now, I paid, um, I'll look, but it was probably less than 120. And I think the MSRP for this is, it doesn't say, but I will put it all up here and I'll put a picture of what I paid. Now, again, I got it from D Exclusive Fashion, which is a fantastic, fantastic eBay watch store. Um, I've gotten most of my Ingersolls from them, but um, you'll see what I paid, and I'll also put the MSRP. Huge, huge, huge fan of that shop and this, this make. So let's go ahead and do some measurements, because I know that's what you guys are waiting for. All right. 44, all right, and the log, I'm gonna say 22. Yep, 22. Uh, let's say 15. Yep, thickness about 15 as it goes through. Yeah, it's perfect. And the lug to lug. Yep, about 47. So there you go. Now, I haven't put it on yet, I'm gonna, probably size this first, but what else can I talk about? I, I love this watch and hopefully you do too. I'm a big fan, uh, not a screw down crown, of course, because you don't really need that in a watch like this, but uh, I'm so happy to finally have this watch because I get such a kick out of this. I mean, just look at that. You can look in there, even if it's just one, that'd be cool. But now I can look at two. I mean, so awesome. Every meeting will go by faster because of this. So such fantastic quality, it really is. And for the price that you can get that you can get these for in um, in the gray market is just unbelievable. All right. Well, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up. And if you want to see more like these, then please subscribe. And if there's some other watches that you would like me to buy, please let me know in the comments. Thank you.